child and I was calling on God. I said, God, you will never forsake me. Someone did this to me and the person opened his mouth or her mouth, whoever that did it said that there would never be a place I destined yet to go, would go and get liberation. I can never have get salvation. And I say, God, who is that that has hi people welcome back to the channel it's been a while we have not been constant here please have mercy and just let go and please call your people back to come watch today guys we are going to be talking about our beautiful nollywood actress destiny Tuku. my people there was something that happened to her that almost took her life my people but the what god cannot do does not exist in case you are missing out you don't know about nsdpc nx ppd so you try and go and find out and that place is a solution grant which is which is being organized or controlled by pastor jerry my people that place they say wonders happen like water that was where and destiny took wonders took place my people i'm going to drop the full video for you for to you for you to hear everything from our mouth how everything happened and how god saved our life and what god cannot do does not exist and everything she had to say my people i'm going to drop the full video here please guys call your family back to come to this channel to always watch our updates sorry we have not been constant here but we promise to be constant this time please don't forget to share this video like and comment please our returning subscriber we still love you much lover please share this video if this is your first time of coming across our channel please do us a favor hit on the subscribe button put the post notification be on so that whenever we upload new videos you will be aware and you'll be informed our returning subscribers thank you for your love your support on this channel continue to be good and good will follow you so my people this is the update of destiny tiku what happened to her and how she narrated her testimony how the god of pastor jerry saved her life so my people i'm going to drop the full video for you to hear from her mat. please don't forget to share as i always as i said before and i will see you on my next upload you guys stay safe and be good bye bye so much pain so i i thought maybe it was how i slept but as day goes by, it gets, keeps getting worse. It keeps getting worse. At first, I massaged. My friend helped me to massage. And I said, no, 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 this is too much. I have to go to the hospital. I visited the hospital. And they said, there's nothing wrong with me. They just can't find anything. They can't they run the whole test. I had to tell them, okay, fine. I couldn't move my neck like this. I went to a took me to her pastor, her friend took me to her own pastor. There's no prayer that did not happen in my life. I still did not get myself. It, it, was, it was getting worse. I wake up every morning, getting up. Because people I say, the one person give me better knock for my head. It the Then the thing would drag me. It would drag me. The they happen. Then that, that one faithful morning, I'd left and go after staying a few days. I was not fine. I told my mom, let me come back. Then waking up the next morning, hey, hey, okay, my Iran and Iraq, the war it was as if they, those two you know, countries, they were here just now, now choke on as we see, what is going on? My spirit just said, can you pray? I said, we won't begin to pray. Who have not prayed for me? They have prayed for me. Where will I even begin to pray? And I remember an NSPP platform. I just opened my phone. It was almost finished. It was just about um, 7.48. I just stepped in and immediately I got in there. What I was hearing was, Lord, show me mercy and deliver me. Lord, show me mercy and deliver me. I killed him. Lord, show me mercy and deliver me. Lord, show me mercy. Show me mercy and deliver me. I, 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 I didn't even, that was all. I started with that, Lord, show me mercy. And at that point, Pastor Jerry was there crying. He was crying and saying, Lord, show me mercy and deliver me. And I cued in, Lord, show me mercy and deliver me. And on top of my bed, I was, you know. But getting myself, I was already in front of the door to the stairs, close to my altar. That was where I found myself. I did not know how I, I'm not coming for the I didn't know how I got to that place. And getting up, as in getting up from um, where I went, because I, I, I really went far. By the time I got up, I realized that the neck that was not, that was very static, like that was like a, I was a, I was like a statue, you know. I 
I couldn't do this, I couldn't do this, I couldn't do this, I couldn't do this. Then the thing now was now moving from my neck region down to my back. So as he was moving around my body, I could tell that this is not normal. So I, the whole thing, I was praying, I was, I was praying, I was shouting, I was praying, I was shouting, I was calling on God. I said, God, you will never forsake me. Someone did this to me and the person opened his mouth or her mouth, whoever that did it said that there would never be a place I destined yet to go, would go and get liberation. I can never have get salvation. And I say, God, who is that that has has said a word and it comes to pass when you the lord god almighty has not spoken nobody and i got it i began to cry i began to pray i began to say words i began to talk to god i said a broken and a contract heart oh god you don't despise do not forsake me alas my brethren my lovely sisters and brothers i did not know when the neck that could not move started sweeping like this was sweeping off at not my neck with this and i'm like no 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 this is not my neck and then i realized that the pain here oh they got their woman missing me when me, like it was so cold like they called me cold water here i see jesus hey, am i getting the salvation already the the pain that it was as if someone just used something to choke me like this i held it and held it and i can't move so then i i, I now realized also that 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 pain that strong pain and my back was gone i could do like this i was jumping up <laughs> god, I beg god. god healed me god showed me mercy god delivered me through the platform of nsppt and this is from me to me the one i prayed for myself so brethren don't know how you do it but you see this nsppd is a what god does in this platform i hear people say they have testimonies and all of that i have not had one until now i am now beginning to understand how god has used pastor jerry to to save a lot of people out there i am a living testimony and i call him it happened to me it happened to me that word he was saying god show me mercy and deliver me alas god came and saved me through this amazing platform because i went from one prayer here i don't want to start calling states to another state to another state to another state to five states i was never healed i never got my salvation until i queued into this platform and the word i heard from pastor jerry's mouth that day i i, I used the same word with faith who, 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 who i can jump i can laugh i can i can what god can you do